In this video, I will show you uh, how to program the exercise 3 for the home bot. Uh, basically, I want you to toggle 3 LED at a different uh, frequency, different rate. And we'll show you how to program this. So to start, I want to have some variable. So basically to track how often we want to change the light and go into the chips and the variable here uh, I want to have a new variable yes and in this program it can only allow have two characters the name so if you if you have three character then it will complain say you can only have two so basically you can only have two so let's make this as t1 and make uh, it's two seconds so basically saying LED one can need to be toggled every two seconds. Let's make another variable. Say, uh, make another new one. Says T two. So this one let's toggle every three seconds. And also we want some variable to track uh, the time for each LED. So let's make another new one. Let's call this one N one. And the initial will be zero. And let's, let's make another one. Let's call this to be N2. And make this to be zero. So, and then I want to have a new function called uh, setup. So this new function, I'll, I'll set up all the parameters inside my setup routine. So when the start when the program starts, it will call setup routine. And after setup routine, we'll have the infinite loop. This is very similar to uh, Arduino program we did last time. Remember, we first have setup and then it's the loop program. So in the loop program, we're gonna have a loop is indefinite, forever loop. And inside loop to start, I will have a delay. And to make it Simple, I'm going to delay one second. One second. Uh, and then after one second, I need to increase my timer by one, so the counter by one. So I'm going to say uh, calculator here. And I'll say my N1 need to add one and assign back to N1. And then I'll have another one. I'll say this one is N2, add the value one, and assign back to N2. So the value here, I think it can only be integer. It cannot be a fraction number. So let's have that. And after this, I need to check time to see if I need to toggle lights or not. For that, I'm going to write a function to do that. Let's call this LED1. So it's a little bit inside the function one, uh, I need to check the logic. We will have if else inside there. And we want to compare if N1 reach T1, then it's time to toggle lights. So we'll say not the sensor port, we're gonna say compare value. N1, if N1 is greater than T1. And then I'm gonna toggle lights. And if the lights is on, then I need to turn it off. If lights is off, I'm gonna turn it on. So in this case, I'll put it here. So when you click, here's the logic connection. So that is, when this is true, it's gonna check this if condition. And we do want to look port one to see if the lights is on or not. And if light, is, if this is true, it means it the light is on, and then I need to turn it off. And if it's not true, means it's off, I need to turn it back, turn it on. So this is port one, and this is also port one. After I change the light, I, I need to reset N1 back to zero, because otherwise, after your loop, it will always, this will always be true. So I need to reset N1 to be true. So in this case, I want N1 be 
right below the this if condition. So I want to say n1 back to zero. And very similar, uh, I'll create a new function for led2. And this is, will be the, the same way. If condition tear, and this time I want to see, I want to check n2. If n2 is greater than uh, T2, then I'll time to change the port. So this one will be, we do need to look port 2. And if port 2 is high, means right now it, it's on, and then I need to turn it off. Otherwise, I need to turn it back on. So here, it's port 2, and here, it's also port 2. And after finish, I do need to reset the value and 2 back to 0. So after I add a counter, basically I only need to call the function to see if I need to change it or not. So this will do the trick. And if tomorrow I ask you not 2 seconds, 3 seconds, but 5 seconds, Every five, toggle it every five seconds or seven seconds. All you have to do is change here. You don't have to change any of the logic here. So this is uh, this is it. It will work. Uh, you can try it, and you can try to add the function for LED three, and make three LED toggle at, sub, at a different frequency. And you can even make it uh, turn on for five seconds, turn off for seven seconds if you want but you need to create more variables and more counters for that purpose.